channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto and today's video is a recipe video. Woohoo! We are making a recipe today and we are bringing back old school keto. We're using the cream and the heavy cream and the cheese and the butter. We're making another, it's kind of a casserole, but since we're bringing it old school, I thought I would wear my Dolly Parton old school shirt. How adorable is this? I love it. Got it at Walmart in the men's section and it's a size medium, which I thought was weird too. I was really hoping it would be, you know, roomier for a size medium and men's, but I don't know if I got a defective one, but anyways, I love it. So we're bringing it old school today. Now this recipe, I'll have everything listed down below. It originally, when I first made it, it was a sausage Alfredo cabbage, um, kind of casserole type thing. I made it with sausage the first time. This was probably about a year ago. And I was just like, this is really good, but I'm just weird about meat. You guys know that. So you can totally do this with sausage if you want any kind. Um, just look at the carb count. And then, but I came up with something. I was like, you know, one of my favorite things in the world lately are these Tyson black and chicken breast strips. I'm going to make it with this. <laughs> I can't wait. But listen, if you can't find these, I know sometimes these are hard to find. Use, they have like the grilled chicken of this um, already made. You could do a rotisserie chicken. You could boil chicken and shred it up yourself. Um, but I just thought after I cook these in the air fryer, these will be all nice and crispy. And then we'll throw it on the, oh my gosh. I just, I can't wait. I'm so excited. My mouth is watering. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> I meant to hit the button to stop it, but it kept going. So first you're gonna need a casserole type dish. This is a Pampered Chef um, like baking pan kind of thing. And I like it because it's got a lip here. So we're gonna be able to use this to put everything in it. Cause there's gonna be kind of a saucy, a saucy thing going on here. So pick your protein of choice. You need a head of cabbage. I got a smaller one because I'm not the biggest cabbage fan um, and I'm the only one eating this. So I didn't want it to be too much. You are gonna need some heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need some butter, some cream cheese, some shredded Parmesan cheese, um, onion powder, uh, garlic, which I forgot to get out of the fridge, and then some salt and pepper. So that's everything that you're gonna need. Now we'll kind of get this going. And let me tell you, this is so easy, so easy. Okay, so one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up the cabbage because it's gonna go inside of the baking pan and then we're gonna put everything else on top of it. Now, like I said, I am not the biggest cabbage fan, but it's so funny. When I first tried this, I was very leery of it. But when you get all of the sauce together, it kind of makes this like noodles. So it was it was surprisingly very delicious. Urgh. Ooh, make sure you have a good knife. And then I'm just gonna turn it this way. So you're kind of making little cabbage steaks, I guess you could say. Okay, we've got this over here. And then you're just gonna lay them here. And it sounds and looks probably a little bit strange. And that's okay. Okay, so this little piece is not gonna make it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. Okay. Oh, it's telling me to stand. I'm standing. Now, let's get everything else kind of ready. I need more counter space. All right. Then we're going to add everything else except for the meat and the Parmesan cheese. So, where did I put my garbage? Oh, here we go. I've got my Parmesan cheese and my butter ready to go. And we're just putting it in little clumps, quite frankly. I'm just going to 
break this up and it's gonna seem weird, it really is, but I promise it's gonna be delicious. And this is only some of it. Oh, guys, there is so much goodness in here. This is full of fat, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I'm just gonna cut it on here. Piece of paper from the butter. And you can also use your cabbage as a cutting board. <laughs> All of this is gonna melt and flow into all the nooks and crannies. So that's what's kind of cool about it. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this cream cheese. Oh look, you're essentially just throwing this part together, sticking it in the oven. And then while it's cooking, and we're gonna do the same thing with this. It's just gonna kind of get put in little globs all over the place. So if you don't like to get your hands messy, this might not be for you. But yeah, we're throwing this together and then cooking the meat while this is in the oven. My oven is preheated, so that's good. It's ridiculously delicious. Okay, so there's that. I'm just trying to see, was there anything else? Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna add like the heavy cream and our spices. Heavy cream, how much was it? I wrote it down. Um, one and a half cups, so it's a good amount. And you'll wanna be careful when you're pouring it. You guys are like, this isn't going to work. This is weird. I don't like it. No, it's going to work. I'm telling you. I cannot lie. And remember, I'm the only one that's eating this, so I have to make sure that I'm going to like it, right? Because God knows what happened last week. All right, so we've got that. Now we're doing a little bit of garlic. Of course, I didn't get a spoon, so hold on. You can measure or you can just season with love. Whatever you want. This, it just said salt and pepper. So that one definitely to your liking. I love, especially black pepper with like um, Alfredo. I don't know what it is, but that just, I love black pepper. That's one of my favorite spices. Okay, and now let me get a little bit of garlic. This is gonna be ready for the oven. That took no time at all. Let me see, Less, just a couple minutes, honestly. I think it was about a tablespoon, so I'm gonna help it along here and use my fingers. Okay, the other thing that is important is it does say to cover this before we put it in the oven. And here we are with my non-stick Reynolds paper. I'm gonna really cover it well too. Oh, you guys know I've been watching Grey's Anatomy. I told you I've been like re-watching it and I am at season eight where they got in the plane crash. Oh my gosh. Those people, I've never met people that get into so much. The shooting, the, oh my gosh, everything. But I tell you, those are the best episodes. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm going to put my uh, blackened chicken tenders in the air fryer. It says for sausage, you would do a pound and a half of sausage. So I'm just gonna measure out a pound and a half of those chicken strips and we'll cook them in the air fryer. Hey guys, I have to share with you my package that just came in the mail. I'm so excited. 
This part of the video is sponsored by Element. These are the electrolytes that we use. And these our these are our favorite ones. My favorite right now is the raw unflavored, plain, no carbs, no stevia even, nothing. And then I love the chocolate medley that is a limited edition. I'm not even sure if they have these anymore, but it's plain chocolate, the mint chocolate, and the chocolate caramel. Delicious to put in your coffee. And then everybody's probably dying to know Andy's favorite. It is the orange ones. He loves these so much. They have definitely helped him in his whole uh, weight loss journey that he is on. Um, but if you don't know about Element, they are an electrolyte that has everything that you need. When you're on keto, you are losing very valuable electrolytes and this replenishes all of them. You have a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, I can't read backwards, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Magnesium is probably one of the most um, difficult one to make sure that you get enough of. So, if you didn't know, Element does offer something special for my friends here on YouTube. If you place an order using the link down below, it is drinklmnt.com slash mission keto. You will get a free sample pack. It's got all eight flavors of their electrolytes in there for you to try and see which one you like the most, but you get that free just for making a purchase, no matter how much the purchase is. They've got gear, They've got some t-shirts, which I want a t-shirt so bad. And I saw a hoodie on one of their ads recently, and I love hoodies, but I don't think it's on their website. But anyways, any purchase that you make, you will get that a sample pack free. And I love them. We literally swear by these, but right now, honestly, this is my favorite one. I'm putting this in some ice water with a little bit of lemon. It is so good, it is so good. So please make sure you go check them out. If you guys are running out, the people that have already ordered, you can still get this offer too by clicking on drinklmnt.com slash mission keto. Make sure you do that, get your free sample pack and any help, thank you so much. Now let's get back to the recipe. All right, so my chicken is done in the air fryer. So yum, doesn't that look delicious? I would say it probably would take a whole bag, which is a 20 ounce bag. Um, I didn't use an entire bag because again, it's just me and I'm weird about me. So, you know, <laughs> but I would say the whole bag. Now it worked perfectly too. That was done from the air fryer at the exact same time that this is saying that it's done. Oh my gosh. It's heavy. Whew. So this is live. I have not looked at it yet. I have no idea what it's gonna look like, cause it's been a while since I've made this. I just remember it was delicious. Let me make sure you guys can see it. Let me get my water out of the way. Okay. This'll probably be better. Real life, guys. <laughs> All right. So, we're gonna peel this back. Oh yes. I'm already liking it. Woo wee. Okay. Now let me show you something. Probably still looks a little bit funny to you, right? But I know some of you really love cabbage, but do you see how wiggly and jiggly that is? Now the part where like the core was, sure it's not as wiggly and jiggly, but that's okay. We're not done. We are not done. I will probably cut those little core pieces out, but it's kind of necessary. Oh, look at this. Me personally, I think this is looking delicious. It's all buttery and yeah, but we're not done. Wait, there's more. So this is the point now where you would um, add your sausage. I'm gonna add the chicken. Oh. Okay. I don't need to mess around with it anymore. I'm just going to toss it in here. You could. Oh my gosh. This is exactly like the look that I was wanting to. You could chop it up. But again, this is just me eating it. So 
I probably would chop it up into smaller bite-sized pieces so everybody could, you know, it, you want it to soak up the flavors. But for the sake of it just being me, shush, shush the mouth. Air fryer's like, I'm done. I'm like, I know, I took this stuff out. So you add your meat and then you're gonna add some Parmesan cheese and a pretty good amount. You could also add some bacon bits if you wanted also. That definitely would be something <laughs> delicious. I think the um, I think that would be really good with the sausage too. I think I might get some. And you can measure your cheese if you want. I might end up adding more, who knows. But let's get a little bacon. I made some and it was specifically for this in my meal prep video. So yeah, we'll just, that's why I like to make it really crispy. I mean, this has literally everything that you need. So we're doing about three pieces of bacon because I had broken them in half, remember? And there was two would be one piece. Okay, so now we're gonna put this uncovered back in the oven for 10 more minutes longer if you want and there you go so before i serve this though i am going to cut the core out the little core piece but you'll see it is just going to be like a nice spaghetti fettuccine looking type deal so i'm gonna put this in the oven and cook it for another five to ten minutes or ten minutes all right this is out of the oven look at all that i think i think it looks delicious i hope you guys do too but so now we're gonna plate it up and that's what's fun about it. I mean, I might need a bigger spoon. So this is why I show it to you so you can do what I, don't do what I do, right? <laughs> but look at all that yummy sauce and oh gosh, it just looks, looks delicious to me. I'm trying to get a piece of chicken on here though for presentation. And bacon and what you could do is at the end hold on you know five-star restaurant quality here going on what you could do is add a little more Parmesan and bacon on the top Bing. I'm not gonna do the bacon cuz I just here here's what I'll do I'll grab some of the bacon here just to make it look pretty. And there you go. There is dinner. Okay. It's actually lunch for me today because it is Monday and I'm making a lunch. I'm making this on my lunch. Let me get a piece of chicken and we're gonna taste this. I need a knife though. So yes, probably um, cutting the chicken or whatever meat that you choose would be smart if you're making it for your family. Again, this is just for me. This is very hot. But look, I mean, you can see this is completely like a creamy, buttery, cream cheesy goodness right here. It's almost like a noodle consistency. I really love it. I'm just trying to get a, a little bit of everything. As you can see, it's hot. So let's see, is Hope gonna do her little jig when it's good? Let's see. I love Alfredo sauce. It's so nice when something turns out how you had it pictured in your head. I think it is so much better with the blackened chicken tenders than with the sausage. And that's just me though. If you're a sausage lover, it is really good with that too. Um, just remember the little core pieces. I remember the last time that was the only thing I didn't like was that core piece never softens up like the rest of it, but it's what kind of holds it together while it's in the pan. So you just cut around it. I happened to pick a piece that did not have any, so 
This is so good. I'm so happy, but I won't make you watch me eat the whole bowl, but this is what's for lunch. This is what's for dinner maybe in your house this week. Let me know if you try it. I will have everything down below. Thanks again to Element for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate it so much and I do love the company, the product and everything. Make sure you check them out down below to get your free sample pack and I will see you on the next video. Bye.